Hey there, today we're gonna cover landing pages and the basics of what you really need to have on that landing page in order to make it successful. This will be really helpful if you are going to be selling uh, or launching a course, a physical product, um, maybe a digital product. You can take this, these thoughts and these layout tips and use them for freebie. So it could be if you are offering a freebie, like I have a freebie, um, you go to robustdesigns.com slash checklist and that is actually a sales page and now it is for a freebie so it is a little bit different to treat it a little bit different than something like a six thousand dollar course which would be um, a lot lengthier and more in-depth so those are two different kinds of sales pages there's also the in-between so it could be like a $99 course an ebook that you might be selling just like an entry point um, sales page As a quick intro, if you are new, my name is Yasmin Robles with Robles Designs, where we create drill-worthy websites and brands for entrepreneurs who are hell-bent on taking over the world. And if you are looking for a downloadable a checklist that you can use to go through your site and make sure that everything you need on there is on the site, um, go to roblesdesigns.com slash checklist uh, and take a look at that and see and if you like it let me know if you don't let me know as well you can also follow us on instagram where i share all of my awkward attempts at making reels and as well as some some tips and some uh, client work you can check us out at, at robles design studio on instagram we're on tiktok you can look us up um, yeah but with that let's get to the meat of the subject Okay, so first let's cover what a sales page is. Uh, it's We also call it a landing page. It's basically a page that has a one goal and one purpose in life and that is to sell for you. This can be to sell one, it usually is to sell just one product. It's never really to sell multiple different items or products, whether they're digital or they are actual physical products. So for example, if you created this amazing boat, that sales page will only be focused on that boat and on selling that boat. If you are a fitness instructor and you are selling private lessons, that sales page will only focus on that those private lessons. It's not gonna talk about any other classes or anything else, any events that you are hosting. So that is basically a sales page. A sales page will also have a few layout tips, which is what we're gonna cover in this video. And then in an upcoming video, we're gonna cover a few more tips and actual more like content, what you, sh you should really have in the sales page um, within that layout. Okay, so the very first thing I want you to keep in mind when you're creating your sales page or landing page, whatever you wanna call it, is that the very top section is one of the most important sections of that page. So what I, when designers use jargon like above the fold, typically they mean above the, so if you were to pull up the page, the sales page on your web browser and um, anything without scrolling, what you see as a regular browser sized window, that is what's above the fold. Anything that's below that would be below the fold. Um, you can think of this also as a newspaper, things that were above the fold would get the most attention or were, would be the most important things um, and things that were below the fold might not be as important. Okay, so the second thing that you should think about when creating the layout for your, for your sales page is that it is easy to scan. And you want to do this, you might wanna ask somebody else to do it as well, but you want to do this by simply going onto the sales page once you've laid it out, your copy's in there, your images are in there, and quickly scan through the page. So just kind of mouse through, scan through, scroll through, whatever you wanna call it, scroll through the page, and just read big headlines. Uh, big bold statements anything like that and can you tell what it is that you are selling what it is who it's for and um, what exactly how long it'll take if it's a course how long is the course who the course is for um, how much it costs the time frame all that stuff um, and what the outcome is can you tell all that by simply scanning through the page or is it something where it's all in the little details and the headlines are just kind of there to be showy and decorative they're not really giving much information another layout tip that I really like using especially when you have someone that isn't as close to the product as you are I like to have them do this is time yourself you can time yourself literally time yourself or you can just kind of time yourself by guessing but I would open up the the sales page and then quickly just kind of go through it and give yourself like five seconds three seconds 
um, and go through it or ask someone else to go through it and see if they, ideally someone who has not been involved in the process of creating the program or anything like that, and see if they can discern what it's about and if what the, what their initial thoughts are. So this will give you a couple of thoughts on is the messaging, the copywriting, is it working well so that everyone who goes onto the site will understand exactly what it is that you're selling and is the brand consistent? A lot of these things that they can just kind of give feedback on and usually they won't give it in a way that's like designer speak, but you can take that and translate it and then adjust the layout. Basically give yourself about three seconds, five seconds, um, no more than 10 seconds and look through the site, see if everything looks cohesive, give it to someone else, see if they can tell what it's all about, if they can understand the messaging, if they approve of it um, and yeah and then you can go from there. Make sure that you have very clear CTAs and it depends on how long your page is and the length of a page will also deter be determined by sometimes like the cost of the program um, or how much you I think you generally for with the cost of the program so for example let's say you have a coaching program and it is uh, let's say it is a long-term like 12 week program it's a it has some live aspects to it um, some webinars some already recorded videos we might have a community aspect to it and it costs three thousand dollars right so let or more so let's take that into account and you're probably going to need to just bulk up that page a little bit more with testimonials with more information of exactly what people get for three thousand um, dollars if it's like a freebie like a free ebook your landing page your sales page if it's a seven dollar item let's say for example or ten dollar item it won't necessarily need that much information it's gonna need like yeah what do you get out of it who it's for how is the how does it work um, maybe a testimonial or two but not necessarily a, like this lengthy lengthy page with 20 testimonials on the ebook so kind of keep that in mind but make sure that throughout that whole process that you have very clear CTAs and what a CTA is it's a call to action typically a button and then make sure that you have a sufficient number of CTAs so if you have a very short three section sales page for that ebook, one section's for reviews, uh, like you know, testimonials, one is a little summary of the ebook, and one is like the final call to action, you might just have two CTAs, one above the fold and one um, at the last portion of it. The longer the page, I recommend the more CTAs you have. So if it starts, and this is, it really depends on the layout and the design of the page, but if it starts to feel a little long, um, make sure to give a little CTA so if it starts to feel like you've gone through a few sections just keep that in mind when you're creating it and it's get, kind of getting lengthy and you're wondering where you should put the the CTAs the buttons um, ideally at the top and at the bottom depending on how long it is um, for free email uh, email freebies sometimes it's just one CTA because that's all that really you see on the page um, but if you have more sections kind of think about hey would it make sense to add another one every so often, every couple breaths, every couple sections of the page. The last tip that I have for you is mostly on graphics. Um, and it's, I covered it in a couple of other videos, but I figured I might as well cover it on this one as well. And it's to use branded graphics as much as possible. So this means that you would go and get a brand photo shoot done and use those graphics in there. Um, ideally, if you are selling, so for example, if it's a course, you could use a uh, it really depends on your brand but for example for myself if I am introducing in introducing myself as the instructor and I have a couple of brand photos and then I might throw in some stock photos that would be ideal if it's and again these are stock photos that are not very awkward they are the stock photos that look a bit more natural versus stock photos with like this you know you'll know when you see it it's these awkward stock photos that just seem like like they don't belong and sometimes they don't they look very stiff they don't look very very fluid and so you want to make sure that your stock photos are fluid any sort of icons or graphics they should also be um, not the awkward clip art looking ones um, they should feel again a bit more natural and a bit more um, natural to your brand not just like oh this looks cute like 
oh, it's really cute, but it has nothing to do with your brand color scheme or anything. So you want to make sure that you're doing that for your graphics. So no awkward stock photos, no awkward clip art. That is it for the tips. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with someone that you feel would be worthy of this video. Share it with someone who you think might be, find the information useful. Um, and make sure to check us out on Instagram at Robles Design Studio where I try to give as many tips and do as much awkward videos on reels as possible um, for your entertainment purposes. Um, make sure again to check to check out the checklist, uh, robledesigns.com slash checklist and download that and let me know how uh, you are doing with your sales page or what it is that you will be selling on that page. All right, thanks and I will catch you in the next episode.